So we, it's so funny. We have all these devices now in America. We've got your iPhone and your iPad and your laptop. And we're a nation of preoccupied citizens, entertained citizens. We're a nation of distractions. We all have limited attention spans. Think about this. If you have a friend and a friend comes up to you and says, hey, 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 you got to see this on my phone. If an ad pops up for 15 seconds, you're like, no, nah, I don't have time. Or it takes like five seconds to download it. Come on, come on, get to, come on, come on, get to the, what? That's what we've become. Netflix. I get TV shows when I want them and I'll watch the whole season now. I'm not going to wait a week to watch my, I want to watch all of them now. Uber. I want a car now. Go to my phone. I want a car right now. Right, right now. And so we're a nation of short attention spans. We're preoccupied. We're distracted. We, you, inform, read a newspaper. I want information on my turn. I got to get to my phone and get to my story on my terms. Nobody's patient. Nobody takes a breath. Nobody enjoys the process. Nobody enjoys the process anymore. Just get me to the finals. I don't want any. Charles Barkley, love him. Love to have him on the show once in a while. He's great. But you got to call these guys out. I called out Michael Jordan yesterday. I'm calling out Charles Barkley today, and I love Charles Barkley. But Charles Barkley's talking about NBA parody, and the NBA season starts tonight. And Charles says, toughest thing for me is to have to go on TV and fake it for seven months, that it's not going to be the Warriors and the Cavs in the finals again. Well, excuse me, from 1980 to 89, Magic's Lakers and Larry Bird Celtics, there was never a final in the NBA without both of them or one of them for nine years. And that was the NBA's coming out party. Lakers and the Celtics dominated the league for nine years. They were in the finals every year. We celebrated it. Michael Jordan's last six years playing a full season for the Bulls. They won it every year. Highest ratings ever. By the way, in the 70s, when nine different teams won, lowest ratings ever. We are a spoiled nation. Think about the Chicago Cubs. The Chicago Cubs won the World Series. They already feel less special today. It took them 100 years to win a World Series, and now we're like, all right, kind of hope the Dodgers beat them. Half the country's like not into the Cubs now. What? You wait 100 years, you win. Now, okay, what's new? Okay, you won. Give me something else. I want something else. People want everything immediately. We are a microwave nation. An oven? Bake a potato? It takes 42 minutes. You ever thought how healthy a microwave is? You think a potato should be cooked in four minutes, six minutes, eight minutes? I think it's probably healthier, you know, in an oven. Someday they'll discover that drinking milk and microwaves were not good for us. The study's coming, I guarantee you. But from delivery services to Netflix to iPhones to Uber, the Kevin Durant, Steph Curry Warriors, according to Charles Barkley and others, <laughs> boring, we're just going to sit around and... I went to the over-unders in Vegas... There are 10 teams, according to Vegas, that are going to be at 50 wins or more that are either pushing 50 or more. Warriors, Celtics, Rockets, Spurs, Cavs, Thunder, Raptors, Timberwolves, Bucks, Wizards. These teams all have a chance to win more than 50 games. By the way, there's no team they predict to be in the teens. In Michael Jordan's year in 98, six NBA teams. Won fewer than 20 games. Can we sit back and enjoy something? I, college football was great Saturday. I know Alabama's probably going to be in the final. Take a deep breath. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the process. By the way, Kevin Durant and Steph Curry both have a history of injuries. If Kevin Durant, who's already, by the way, missed games due to an injury in Golden State, if he, if he gets hurt, they're not winning the final. If Steph Curry gets hurt, I don't think they're winning the final. So the NBA season uh, starts tonight. And um, let me just say this. Is, you know, Michael Jordan and Charles Barkley, the NBA is no good. We know who's going to win the games. The NBA is not good. This is terrible. NBA is great. Ten teams, a third of the league. In Vegas, they got them at 48 wins or more. 
We got two teams that could win in the 60s, many that will win over 55, and two of the rebuilding teams that won't be great, the Sixers and the Lakers, are very, very interesting. I can't wait to watch Ben Simmons, and I can't wait to watch Lonzo Ball. But the centerpiece of this league now, it was LeBron for about 12 years, um, but the Golden State Warriors have now eclipsed LeBron as sort of the talking point of the league, we think. But LeBron James has always, in his peak years, and he's still now at the end of it, he's turned. The, he's on the back nine, he is still the best overall player in the NBA. He's not the best shooter like Kevin Durant, not the best ball handler like Steph Curry. Maybe he doesn't, on both ends, give you the effort he used to like Kawhi Leonard. He's not as dynamic athletically as Russell Westbrook, and he probably won't win the championship, though he may be. He is still the man in the NBA. So as the season starts tonight... Forget Nike. We release our 2017-2018 LeBron video. LeBron, I know you hate to lose and those finals were so painful for you. You got embarrassed by Stephen KD and did you got betrayed by ID. But now your teammates are new. That is the definitive wow. LeBron James video <laughs> of 2017 and 2018. And I will tell you, uh, uh, Christine and I have both been fans of player mobility. And I, I think sometimes all of us, I'm guilty of this, we're fear-based. Don't do this. Don't do that. Keep it the same. Well, I, I, you know, I have my eggs or my oatmeal every day for breakfast. I'm a creature of habit. I'm more comfortable with habit. I go to bed same time. I get up same time. My wife and I stayed up to 1130 the other night. We looked wow. at each other. I mean, we laugh. We're like, oh, my God, we're rock stars. I mean, we, but I will tell you this. The player mobility is adding tremendous anticipation. You've got Oklahoma City look dead. Now they're captivating with Paul George and Westbrook and Carmelo. It's really going to be interesting. And Chris Paul was with the – would the Clippers be – Honestly, isn't Chris Paul more interesting with Houston than he was again in that weird chemistry deal with the Clippers? Wouldn't the Lakers be fascinating with LeBron? Or do you want to watch him for the next eight years in Cleveland? We are all in the interesting business. And the NBA right now is becoming the NFL. It used to be the NFL was the only sport in America where we would talk about it in the offseason. We talked NBA until August 3rd this year. I wrote it down. It is now mid-October. The NBA has become a 10-month sport of drama, of some divas, of some dynasties, of storylines. Player mobility actually works in this millennial age of iPods and iPhones and because we have short attention spans. So the minute you get bored with something, oh, Westbrook's got new teammates. Steph Curry's got a new teammate. Oh, D. Rose and D. Wade. LeBron's got two new teammates. And Jay Crow. Oh, Kyrie Irving's now with Boston. In the millennial age, it's short attention spans. And what's really happening is you're creating these new teams every year. By the way, why do we get up so upset with it? NFL teams change their roster by a third every year. New England had like 15 people. It's what makes the NFL interesting. You can go from bad to interesting, bad to good. Major League Baseball, acquisitions all the time. Soccer players move around internationally, domestically. The NBA is absolutely, inarguably more captivating with player movement. And don't tell me dynasties aren't interesting, because in the 70s, nine different teams won the title. 
and the league was so boring, they put the finals on tape delay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from the newest show on FS1. First Things First with Chris Carter and Nick Wright.